Welcome to the award-winning show, Holding Down the Fort, brought to you by U.S. Vet Wealth. A podcast show that focuses on sustaining a fulfilling, a purposeful military life through conversation and community building. I'm Jen Amos, a Gold Star daughter, veteran spouse, and creator of Holding Down the Fort. And I'm Jenny Lynn Stroop, a seasoned military spouse, mom of two boys, and your co-host. Together, we'll converse with special guests from the military community and for the community to share knowledge, resources, and relevant stories on how we can best hold down the fort for ourselves and our loved ones. Now let's get started. Hello, hello, everybody. Jen Amos here, your creator and co-host for Holding Down the Fort podcast. Today is a bonus episode of what is going on in Afghanistan at the moment. To be quite honest, I wish I can say that I have the perfect words, the right words to address this. But the thing is, being a military-focused podcast show, I have to say something. I have to put something out there. And so... This bonus episode is actually a recording that we did with a guest recently after her interview. So shout out to Jen Whitmer. You will actually have an opportunity to hear her full interview in an upcoming episode. But because of the timeliness of this matter, I felt like it was important to release this bonus episode sooner. So you'll get it. Like I mentioned, you'll get a chance to know Jen Whitmer more in an upcoming episode. I have been just staying plugged in in the community and talking to my husband about the situation in Afghanistan. And so for now, this is what I have to say. At the time of this recording, the evacuation from Afghanistan has been very fluid. We are grateful that many have been able to evacuate, but we are saddened just with the situation. It's been difficult for many of us, and there are still many, many unknowns. So as I'm recording this, it's August 26, 2021, at least this announcement. There have been reported new attacks on the airport and confirmed U.S. casualties. Our hearts go out to everybody involved in this fluid situation, and we're just really sad that it has come to this. As many of you may know, if you've been following the show, many of our guests, spouses, service members, People who have been on the show themselves have been to Afghanistan and by extension, the Middle East. So, you know, if this is your first episode for holding down the fort, or if this is your first episode learning about the military community, just know that right now that many veterans and active duty families are hurting. So in this bonus episode, I have Jenny Lynch Troop, my amazing co-host, as well as our guest who you will learn more about in an upcoming episode, as I mentioned, just share their thoughts on what's going on in Afghanistan. Jenny Lynn gives her perspective as an active duty military spouse and having a friendship with her husband's Matthew Stroop's former Afghan interpreter, Ahmad Shah, who actually has been on her show. So if you would like to hear that replay, it's actually a bonus episode back in May 29, 2021. So that was a bonus episode in between the off season of season four and season five. This bonus episode was titled, It's Another Human Being on the Other Side of This. Same team and mutual risk with Ahmad Shah Syed and Matthew Stroop. So would highly encourage you to listen to that replay to get a glimpse into the life of an Afghan interpreter and also Ahmad Shah's relationship with the Stroop family. Keep in mind that this is a whole generation of a military community to have experienced what's going on in Afghanistan and in the Middle East. Of course, we don't have to point out the obvious to our military community. However, as a listener, what I encourage you to do if you don't know what to say to our civilian counterparts, we did our best here (laughs) in this episode. Not only did we share how we felt, but also maybe some action steps that our community and our civilian counterparts can do to support one another in this ongoing fluid situation. So I would say if this episode resonates with you, please share it with someone who maybe has no connection to the military community or share it amongst each other. So with that said, thank you for listening to our bonus episode today. Hey everyone, welcome back to Holding Down the Ford podcast. 
we have a very special episode today, given the state of what's been going on in our military community. And I am still trying to collect my words on this, but Jenny Lynn has been quite vocal about this on social media. So I actually kind of want to follow her lead. And we have a special guest with us, Jen Whitmer, who you are going to have the fortune of learning more about in an upcoming episode if it hasn't been released already. So Jen, welcome back for this bonus episode. <laughs> Thanks. Happy to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. And so Jenny Lynn, you've been posting a lot lately about with what's been going on in Afghanistan. So I want to, like I said, follow your lead and, you know, have you open up with what you want to share today to our listeners. Man, I think my big ask, and I realize that I'm talking largely to a community who inherently gets it. That is very different than the tenor of posts that I have put out there. My intent with the things on my social media have been really more for people who aren't in the military community, because what I've noticed over the past several days is many of the social media platforms that I'm on, I realize that I follow a lot of military folks. And so the whole platform has been consumed with hurt and angst and anger and sadness over all of the things happening in Afghanistan because the military community has been invested in that country for 20 years and seeing it in the condition that it is in now just brings up, I think, more questions and answers for a lot of people and a lot of feelings. And so, you know, for the purposes of this, I understand that we're talking to an audience that probably has many similar questions and feelings that I do. And so I first want to put that out there. The intent of my post was really to connect, you know, Jen Amos, you and I have talked often about this, that as a military spouse, I am like the human version of a bridge between the military community and the civilian community, because really I am a civilian, but I live (laughs) a military lifestyle. And so it was really important to me to put something out on the internet that didn't try to speak for everybody in the military community, Mm -hmm. but humanize and personalize what my experience and what my family's experience has been being a military family and watching what's going on. So with that, yeah, we've had a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings, you know, mostly for, and I would hope that if folks haven't listened to the interview that we did with Ahmad Shah, they would go listen to that one now. He is Matthew's Afghan interpreter who, you know, did arrive here on an SIV several years ago. And so he and his wife and his wife's family are here in the United States and have all been here on an SIV for several years. But Ahmad Shah's immediate family is not. They are still in Afghanistan. And so, you know, Matthew and I have spent the last couple of days kind of communicating back with him and checking on him as he checks on his family the best that he can. It's scary and it's sad. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate you, Jenny Lynn, for just sharing as always. I know it's not easy and I know that you don't mind being the crier on our show, but still <laughs> it is, I know it is a lot to unpack and you know, my husband, he graduated West Point when 9-11 happened. And so he's been following this war for the last 20 years. And in my recent conversations with him, it's been hard for him. It's been hard for him to see like, what was the point? What was the point of us going over there? You know, if it's coming down to this, it's been a very somber time. And I think what really upsets me is that mainstream media is not really talking about it. I hear my civilian friends talk about other things, not realizing what's going on in Afghanistan. And so I have a lot of thoughts as well. And I feel like I still have a lot to process and, and learn to verbalize. But Jen, Jen Whitmer, who's with us, I know that you wanted to share some thoughts as well. You know, we were talking a little bit about this offline before we did your recording. So I just wanted to see if you had anything you wanted to add. Well, gosh, first of all, just your pain. It's so hard and very real. I think that as somebody who is completely in the civilian world, even though connected with the military, through friends who are in the military, military spouses, there is confusion. And so I think that's what's so 
appreciative that I appreciate about Jenny Lynn's comments and posts is the willing to be vulnerable and transparent about what this impact is. And I think the support that I would offer people, who, this is a generation of the military. Yeah. I mean, this is a generation of the military Absolutely. who has, has gone through this. And so a few things to help that I would think might be helpful. One is to admit that this is so painful. Like it's okay to be angry. It's okay to, that this is painful. It's okay to be confused. That doesn't solve the issues, but just don't shame yourself that you have these emotions, that that's a very real experience because it's confusing and it is uh, what is happening. And then as Jenny Lynn said, there's this whole connection to the people who are there, not just the American military community that experienced that, but the people that we were helping and supporting and what is happening to these real people living real lives yeah. in another country, in another space. And so checking in on those folks, checking in on your friends, checking in on each other, I think it's just really valuable because right now, as we are talking, this is very fresh. This yeah. is days, hours, really still, we could literally still count it in hours if we wanted of what's gone on. And the escalation was so shocking that we're all still in that phase of grief where we're shocked and yeah. moving to anger. Like that's what's happening. And, and being again, not shaming yourself for that. And I think the other thing that I would want to offer support for spouses and people experiencing this is asking yourself those hard questions is okay. What was this for? Why did we do this? But not stopping there. What mm -hmm. am I afraid of? What am I afraid is now going to happen? Because when we keep those fears down in the dark, they just grow and we have no ability to cope or process through them. And so what am I afraid of is going to happen? Am I afraid that I was betrayed, that I was manipulated into this? Am I afraid that this conflict is going to escalate? Am I afraid that I did something wrong? Am I afraid that what I did didn't help people? And am I afraid that I wasn't successful in this? Am I afraid that everybody else got to do this work and, and my work isn't seen. And am I afraid that I didn't know enough or that I couldn't, I'm going to have to sit in this pain. Am I afraid that I'm wasn't prepared and this is my fault? Cause those are things mm. our brain can connect and dig yourself a little bit deeper, gently into that. And I always say that when we grow, we look at the parts of ourselves we don't like. And so it is, being ruthlessly self-honest, but generously self-compassionate with yourself in this time. You don't have to figure it all out today. This is going to be some time. So as you're doing that, I'm sure Jenny Lynn will wholeheartedly say this. I'm going to say, reach out to a therapist, reach out to mm -hmm. somebody who can help you unpack these big, deep feelings. Cause this is intense and this is a lot and it is war is always trauma yeah. and now what was that trauma what what was that it's it can be re-triggering there can be all kinds of components to that so be really gentle with yourself and acknowledging your emotions and when you're talking with other outside the military folk like me it can be so frustrating that they don't know. Yeah. And so then it's really hard to be compassionate with them too. So it's okay that you're frustrated with other people, but also say, can I share with you what this is like? Can I show you what this is in my inner world? And I don't need you to solve it. I just want you to know that can be a great posture and be really helpful because the people are on the outside. We don't know. I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't right. know. I'm like, right. what do you need from me? Do you need me to solve it? Do you need me to write my Congress mission? Do you need me to listen to you? I don't know what you need from me. So telling that, like, I just need you to know that I'm frustrated by this. I don't need you to do anything, but listen to me is so helpful. And I know that's a lot to put on the person that's hurting, but it's also just so helpful for you to get what you need and ask for what you need. Uh, thank you. Well, yeah. Thank that you, Jen. So oh, go ahead, Jen Ellen. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, that was just so very generous and kind. And I think listening to both of you after I trailed off with the tears per normal, I'm thinking back to the social media posts you both have referenced and, and the reason, like my reason behind that was really an invitation into that, into that asking, not just for me, but for people I hold very dear. And I appreciate 
Jen Whitmer, like your honesty and saying, look, we just, we don't know. And it is easy from the military side of the house to be very frustrated with that. Yeah, um, of course. Feel very alone in shouldering the weight of all that's happening. And mm-hmm. so I appreciate your generosity in saying, look, this is all a lot. And also just tell us what you need, because it has also been my experience that people are people. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's no cure for being human. Yeah. There's no cure for What you don't know, you don't know. And I kind of like, that's how I really try to approach this military civilian gap is like, you don't know what you don't know because you haven't had to know it. Right. Um, unfortunately, as of today, well, maybe fortunately, really, let me rephrase that. Fortunately, as of today, I don't know that there's a whole lot of avoiding what you don't know. And, you know, my hope is that with continued conversations like this between military and civilian folks, we kind of get over some of that not knowing. And once you know better, you do better. Absolutely. And then we can really kind of, you know, bring the military community in. I mean, as it is now, like we're the top 1%, but not the cool one, not with not the ones with all the money. <laughs> <laughs> we are one, actually we're less than 1%, you know, so sometimes that does feel very isolating. Yeah. And to know that there are people out there willing to listen is just yeah. very comforting. You know, one of the things, if the, if you are listening and you are not a military spouse, if you're somebody like me, who's just, maybe you're one of my listeners who came here and started listening to this. I want to add a little encouragement challenge to you all check on your friends whom, you know, I can think of five veterans immediately off the top of my head who've served in Afghanistan Mm -hmm. from the age of currently 25 to the age of 55. And like I said, Mm -hmm. it's an entire generation, right? Check on your friends. The second thing is don't shame them for their response. Mm. Like this is tragic. It is traumatic. And I just think when something happens to you, you respond in some ways and not all of it's pretty. Mm. And so as things are coming out, don't shame them for their response. Get curious, ask questions. And just like I'm asking military and military spouses to say, here's what I need. Ask them, what do you need from me? How can I help you the most? And if nothing else, send a nice card, buy them a coffee. (laughs) Like those, like, I don't know what to say, but I know you like Starbucks. Here you go. (laughs) Like those are kindnesses that genuinely mean something to somebody more than throwing up a social media post with a flag that says, quote unquote, support our military, like support the real people. Oh boy. I know. I mean, Yeah. yeah. I, so if you're listening and you're in, in that, I just want to encourage you in that way. Well, Jenny Lynn, thank you for sharing your heart and just your transparency as always with your journey and your observation of the military life. I know that I can be an instigator and ask a lot of questions and it just means a lot that you're willing to receive them and answer them because I know it's very raw and real for you right now. And I myself, I think for me, it's like I pry into people's lives because it helps me understand my life better. And even in observing my husband and how he is, you know, reacting to everything that's going on right now, it's like, I appreciate hearing you talk because it helps me, you know, helps me kind of understand more of what he's going through and what I need to do to show up. And also Jen Whitmer, thank you for giving us some action items, you know, on what to do in this situation. Because like you mentioned, we are all kind of in a shock right now. And so Mm -hmm. to give us like easy, tangible, you know, baby step things to do to, you know, help each other, I think is great because you know, the reason why this show exists is at least for me, what I always strive to do is to just find that common ground, you know, with anyone that we interact with, especially military community. And, you know, what we find even here, the gap between our civilian counterparts and, you know, with our military families. So all that being said, I just want to thank you both again for your time. Thank you for doing this bonus episode with me well after we've done a full hour of other fun things. (laughs) And uh, to our listeners, I hope that you appreciate this conversation and, you know, please reach out to people who are affiliated with the military, check in with them, stay plugged in and, you know, use some of Jen Whitmer's tips on, you know, how to show up for our military community right now. So, all right, that's it. Thank you all so much for listening and we'll chat with you in the next episode. Tune in next time. Mm -hmm.